good, Door Squad? Just got out of the shower, looking fresh. Got the new shades on. Oh, got that Rolex on that wrist. So today, we're about to go go-karting, and we called to see if I could reach the pedals, because sometimes when I go go-karting, I usually just end up being disappointed. They're like, sir, you're too short to drive the car. I'm just like, all right. And I leave, leave disappointed, leave upset. So we called ahead to make sure I am able to drive. I'm 50 inches, and they said the minimum height requirement is 50 inches. Pretty stoked about that. About to beat Logan's ass in go-karting. He's about to lose to a door, and he's about to hate his life. So about to go go-karting, and of course I'm driving like always because I'm his chauffeur now. Yo, driving with Evans. Hilarious. I'm not gonna lie, they funny. love it, bro. If I do end up not being able to drive these go karts, I feel like I'm gonna use my pedal extensions instead. See how that works out. And if they give me, sh I'm gonna give them. Sh and you do not want dwarf. Dwarf is honestly the worst kind. Of it's literally the worst kind of. So we finally made it here to the go karting facility. Why did I say facility? Don't know. Well, let's see if I end up being. Happy today from one of the seven dwarfs or grumpy uh -huh. because I'll be disappointed and no, they'd be I saying swear you got these dwarf jokes on deck, bro. <laughs> oh, deck always in my pocket. <laughs> Let's see if I'm really 50 inches. Yo, I don't know, bro. I don't know either. There's like screws right there. Yeah, like, bro, put your heels on the back uh, of the screws. Uh, oh, it's your big day. Let's see what we do with go-kart. Okay, so my manager said we're gonna go ahead and go in the track. I'm pretty sure they won't We're gonna give him a try? Yeah. It's your big day. It's your big day. She said we had to make a profile, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh no, honey. 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 I, I think I'm good. Yo, this is why you gotta be 50 inches. <laughs> this, this is the reason. It makes sense now. It makes a lot of sense. If you don't have a profile, then why the f you race, you know? <laughs> it's like, it doesn't make sense. So my racing name, Dwarf God. Obviously, I'm the god of dwarves and all the other dwarves and I'm a dwarf. We're about to go up on the race here and Logan and I are placing the bet. What's the bet, Logan? 1G, bro. I'm down, I'm, like, I'm legit down. We're gonna bet a rap. It's going down, bitch. But on the real, guys, like, it's a known statistical fact that tall people get in more accidents than dwarves. Probably because there might not be that many dwarfs and tall people, but it's easily a statistical fact that tall people get way more in accidents than dwarfs. Because we're like better drivers, obviously, and we're awesome. Sorry, tall people audience. But it's true. Okay, so Logan and I have a thousand dollars going on in this race. I'm pretty confident I'm gonna win. Because I told you before about the statistical analysis where tall people get in more accidents than dwarfs. Known fact. I didn't know that. There's more tall people than dwarfs, so it makes sense that tall people don't Oh win. now I know. Let's do this! I came in last. It wasn't fair because those cards were not made for doors. I'm gonna be honest. Low up. Like my biceps are burning right Holy now. Shit, the world's not made for doors, and the Bro, world. I needs also have to apologize to you. I hit. He hit me so, so hard. hard. Like I was, I hit the wall. I was I'm trying so to reverse him. Then all of a sudden, bam! I'm and I so turn sorry. around and I'm like. No, yeah, bro. So I turned sorry. around twice and I saw Evan get like whiplash. He was like, Bleh! and I felt yeah. horrible. Yeah. So it's fair to say is, uh, hey, Earth, made the world for dwarfs, please. You tall people, the world's easily made for y'all. Yo, but Evan, the bright side is this. Now you're the world's most famous dwarf. <laughs> but now we make, we need to make the world for dwarfs. No more top shelves. Fine. No, fine. No, I'm yelling at you because you tall people created top shelves. I did not. I did not. Go karting was fun if you were a taller person, not a dwarf, above 50 inches, and not a dwarf. Anyway, so it's a new day, new me. Well, not really new me because I haven't grown, but like new me as in like feelings wise and like. It, you know what I mean. Anyways, today's a special day because I'm potentially getting a new puppy. It's gonna be a Pitbull American Terrier. The name is Arya. I don't know if some Game of Thrones fans are out there, but yes, it is a she. So I'm going to put my deposit down today. I'm going to drive about, I'll say an hour to meet her, but I am so excited. Kong's gonna have a brand new sister and they're gonna get along and it's gonna be dope. So we made it to the house where I will meet Arya, the puppy. Logan came to join it's me. It's a fact. Because he will be the uncle of this dog. Oh my god. Uncle Logan. I've never been an uncle, bro. <laughs> you about to be like. So I'm about to put my deposit in. Meet Arya. Hold up. Vlog it. What if you don't like the dog, bro? 
Dude, this was a big f***ing waste of time, wasn't it? <laughs> big waste of time. I hope we like this dog, bro. <laughs> this dog better be worth it. All right, <laughs> let's go meet her. Oh, but the so mom, cute. Uh, is, is more what I consider classic. This is the cutest um, dog of all time. Uh, She's a cutie, I must say. Yeah. Evan, what are you thinking, bro? That's dude, mind, dude. Like, people have my doubts. My parents have my doubts of taking care of this dog of right course. now. But um, I'm going to prove them wrong. I've never had a dog before, and but I've always been around dogs, and dogs have always loved me. Well, they can dog. live 10 to 15 years, so, you mm -hmm. know. It's your buddy. He could outlive you. <laughs> oh. Given our circumstances in life and the sh we do, it's possible. Any chance the Pomeranian breeds with the pit bull? I don't suggest it. Don't don't suggest it. No. I think I think we might do that actually. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that was probably one of the cutest Yo, dogs yo, I've ever did you, seen. Did you look it in the eyes, bro? A tear drip from my face, dog. That's intense, bro. Bro, dude, she's so f***ing cute. Dude, now I have to wait two and a half weeks to pick her up. It's like freaking Christmas all over again. I would have to wait like a month, basically. Son of a bitch. I'll probably be like a foot taller by then. Probably not because I can't grow anymore, but you get it. So we just made it back to the crib. That dog was probably one of the cutest dogs I've ever seen. It is an American Pitbull Terrier, and pit bulls have bad rep. People always talk bad about them, like how they're aggressive, how they're not friendly, and I'm here to prove that wrong. I love pit bulls. They're probably literally one of the most nicest dogs you could ever have. Yes, they can be overly protective sometimes, but that's because they love you. And I addressed this before, but multiple people are doubting me taking care of this dog because I never had a dog before. But I'm here to prove them wrong. I'm going to be so dedicated to this dog. I'm going to love this dog. Feed it, clean up the poop, clean up the pee, so Lydia doesn't have to. Yeah, right. It's going to become my dog. We can do sometimes. Anyway, I'm going to take it to obedience school with Logan and Colin. And Colin's going to love her. He's going to have a younger sister. And people were down on me dropping out of college after two years. Moving out here. Not knowing if this would last long. But look at me, bro. I'm blowing the f*** Oh. It's almost like having dwarfism and people doubting you on the things that you can't do. For instance, play sports like basketball or football or soccer. Like, people doubt it's just because we're little. And then once the event actually happens and proving them wrong and seeing the looks that they make of just stunned. I love that feeling, proving people wrong. That's what I'm basically, my message is to always prove people wrong. Never let anyone talk you down. Never let anyone doubt you. Always prove them wrong. I'm going to do with this dog. I'm going to prove everybody wrong. Pitbulls are not very Vicious. They're not mean. This is gonna be the sweetest dog. I'm gonna love it like crazy, like it's my own child. It sucks to have to wait till the 23rd to pick her up. But once that day comes, it's gonna be like Christmas. It's gonna be, I'm gonna, like, I'm almost crying just thinking about it. It's just gonna be dumb. And this doll is gonna be the next famous doll, other than Kong, obviously. But they're gonna go to the top together, just like me and Logan are going to the top together. Oh, she's so cute. So, I breathe. Through my stomach, not my chest, okay? I have to meditate every morning. It's like one of the things I have to do in order for this to work. So the first part's the breath, called diaphragmatic breathing. It happens through my stomach, gets more oxygen in my brain. Second thing, I rub my hands together. It increases the temperature by hands by about three degrees, and it creates a little static. That's why you heard her say, like you saw a spark. Then the heat builds, the energy builds. The reason I'm gonna take them now is because I want you to know I don't have time to attach a magnet or a string. You know, I'm not talking to you for five minutes while I'm holding the glasses. Put your hands on top of my hands real quick, one hand here. Whoa. One hand here. This does take World a lot out of me, so this is probably the last time. <laughs> See? Oh, here, we yo. here we go. Take him. I don't want to touch him, man. Oh, I'm talking. Grab him. Oh, you good, bro? I'm good. I'm good. Are you good? Are you good, bro? Go, bro. I'm going my glasses on. Dude! <laughs> what the f is that, bro? Go fuck away, What the f***? Yo. <laughs> It is a new day. I have a improv performance that I'm about to go to. It's my very last improv. And if I complete this, then I move on to the next level. And I'll have my friends there to support me. Okay! Mom? Oh, it's just You're coming to see me perform, right? Of course, bro. It's a big day. I'm graduating. It's my last performance, and you'll be seeing me perform live. Bro, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Yo, up. don't judge me if I'm like if you're shitty. I'm not gonna be shitty. Bro, you, you have nothing to be nervous about besides the fact that I'll be watching you, Brenda will be watching you, Lydia's watching you, uh, this camera's watching you, my camera will be watching you, and millions of people on the internet. Oh my god, I'm gonna have so many people. Yep. 
mate. All right, well, time to go to that. The last show with improv is, this is the breakdown. So it's gonna be me and like six other people, maybe seven. One person's gonna go out and they're gonna ask the audience, all right, this is blah, blah, blah. And all we need to get started is one word from the audience. It could be any word. It could be like football, for example. And then someone has a monologue, like a story about the football or something that's related to football. And then we have three scenes and we act out whatever scene in the monologue. It could be funny, but none of it is sketch. It's all just quick comes the brain it's just like right on the spot so that's what i'm kind of nervous about like i it's like i can't f up if i do f up then it's gonna be awkward and i have to be funny it's gonna be it's gonna be a lot so you, yeah, cause you gotta make it up as you go yeah i have to make up as i go and i think it's gonna be like 20 minutes but i'm, I'm gonna try to get maybe two to three scenes in i can hop in anytime i want dude that's gonna be sick yeah there is look you know you never said it look at that smile. <laughs> we just got here with improv class here at UCB, which is like improv group. There's like a bunch of them in LA who come and take classes and they go and perform. I know Evan's a little nervous. I kind of feel bad for him, but I know my man's gonna kill it. He's gonna murder it. And we're gonna go out and celebrate. I know Logan's coming, Brandon, all his friends are gonna be there. It's gonna be a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of fun. But yeah, I had to wait outside because you can't go in unless you're performing. And since I'm here early, I just have to wait. Hey, Z, you said to join support? Yeah. You excited yeah. to you see him? from my father, Evan Eckenrode, Dwarf Mamba. You excited to see him play? Moral support, baby. Just here, I'm making sure everything runs smoothly uh, with the entire process. Looking forward to a great graduation and a great show. Good luck, Evan. We love you. Evan! It's his big day. One word from the audience. What's up, big dog? Dude, you killed it, dude! You killed it, dude! You yeah. killed it, dude. Let's go! How was it, man? How you feel? Dude, I was nervous. Yeah. I could barely see you guys, which helped a lot. We were gonna sit well, we in the front. I was like, nah, you're gonna be super Yeah, we don't want you to see in your pants. Thanks for coming, though. Dude, you came here. That's what family's for, bro! Look at Evan! You did it! That's my son, and I love him! I can't believe you actually made it! Bro, of course. Honestly, me either, bro. I'm late to everything. Yo, but I made it! You did great! You look like a. Like actually, my dad right now. You look like your dad. I'm not your dad. Are you sure? No. Dad. Mom. Okay. <laughs> Enough of that. That was dope. Had a good time. Now it's on to the next old man prom. Might do it. Might not. Two one. The yeah. next stage. Might do it. You, you should. Didn't do it. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. <gasps> what if we, we do it together? together? It would, they were so bad. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Okay. So that. The vlog thank you for watching i want to thank personally my man kevin hey. for recording and coming to my improv show boy thank Dude, you so killed much killed it man. man i'm so proud of you thank you if you're not subscribed make sure you subscribe join the dwarf squad the fastest going squad as of now dwarf squad going strong squad like turn that notification button on i'll see y'all maybe in a few days but uh all right deuces